What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, and I've got to revisit the topic of full body split. So if you watched my AMA video that was published a week or so ago, I talked about how I didn't really like full body splits. I got a question about those, and the main reason being was honestly that I've, I'm a bro when it comes to lifters. I've typically trained with a full, like with a, with a single body part focus or sometimes two body part focus in a given training session like a, you know, like a, like a back and chest exercise or a back and bicep exercise or, uh, you know, shoulders and, and chest, something like that. I, I like that. I've always liked that. It's worked well for me. I haven't really felt the need to deviate from that because I've always gotten pretty good results with it. However, uh, I got a question about full body splits and I was kind of knocking full body splits because generally speaking when i see people do full body splits they don't really have enough intensity given towards a specific muscle group so they'll go in there they'll half-ass a workout for a little bit of everything but not really dive deep into anything and thus the results are lackluster however i made that ama video and the individual that submitted the original question uh, brought some interesting points to my attention and it got me thinking, you know what? I've never really given a full body split the time of day. I can't really speak intelligently about why I don't like it unless I try it. So here I am going to try it. Um, also, another benefit to me doing a full body split is that I'm traveling a ton right now. Like right now is my travel season. I'm literally booked out until the end of the year. I've got conferences uh, almost every week. I've got hunting season starting up. I'm just traveling a lot right now. We're going to go to California for two weeks to see Crystal's family. The benefit of a full body split in that regard is that unlike a body part split, if I'm traveling on the weekend and my back day falls on Sunday, for instance, and I'm not able to, to train on Sunday, then I'm out a back day. I don't want that. I don't want to have any glaring holes in my workout split. With a full body split, if I'm chipping away at every single body part every single day that I train, there's not really going to be any glaring weak points in my training. So I decided to just give it a shot. I, I went into the spreadsheet. I made a sample uh, full body split. I'm trying it starting this week, and I can honestly see myself doing this for the remainder of the year so I can see what the results are like. I can see what my strength markers are doing. I can see what my uh, hypertrophy is like if I'm actually building more lean tissue and if my body's responding favorably. So all that said, let's dive into my computer and I'll show you what my full body split is looking like. I use all the colors of the rainbow here because I wanted to color coordinate each body group or each muscle group rather. So I've got my exercise library here. I've got legs at the top. All of the leg movements that I typically do are coded in maroon. You know, barbell squat, hip thrust, lunges, you know, hack squat, et cetera, et cetera. Then I've got chest with the, the muscle or with the exercises I typically do for chest. I've got back, I've got shoulders, I've got arms, and I've got calves and abdominals. And what I have here is day one, two, three, four, and five. And then for every uh, exercise that I incorporate in these first five days, for instance, I go ahead and pull these from the exercise library. The exercises that are in the library that are not color-coded are ones that have not been factored in for the week. Again, sorry for all the crazy colors. It's just kind of what worked in my mind as I was building out this sample template. Um, so when we look into... I close all these notifications. When I look into the split here, I've got day one, barbell squats. So that's the only leg movement I'm doing, which is kind of crazy. I'm used to just totally destroying legs, for instance, when I'm training legs. So only doing one exercise is going to be interesting for me. Then I've got a dumbbell iso hold flat press for my chest movement. Pull downs, front lateral raise. I am probably going to be supersetting my bicep movement and my tricep movement because those are smaller muscle groups. So on the uh, green and light blue you know, color-coded exercises, the biceps and triceps, I will be supersetting those, and I'll likely also superset the calves and ab movements. But then as you can see, I'm pretty much going through, I also will superset the quad extensions and hamstring curls here on day two. But what's interesting is if I miss a day, for instance, say I miss day two, I can either just move day two to day three and just move everything back a bit, or I can just skip it and go right on to day three and I'm still hitting all muscle groups. I've also played around with the idea of adding a day six and day seven and just training seven days a week just for the hell of it to see how my body responds because I don't think any specific muscle group is going to be taxed to the point of me having, you know, delayed onset muscle soreness and just being totally immobile. So I might play around with that as well. But 
All to say, I'm at least going to get five solid days in. Even if I don't because of traveling, everything will get hit. And I'm just super excited to give this split a try. I think it'll be great from a novelty standpoint. It'll give me something new and exciting to look forward to. I can play around with this. One thing I have noticed in doing this since the beginning of this week is that the exercises are taking me, uh, or the, the sessions, the workout sessions are taking me about an hour and a half, so pretty much on par with what it was taking me before I started incorporating the full body splits. Um, one thing I have noticed is that my... Like, I don't have as much of an intense pump with any given muscle group. So, like, my chest or my arms are never as pumped as they are when I was typically doing, like, a chest or arm day. But I'm getting a little bit of a pump throughout the full body, which makes sense because it's a full body workout. I'm not sure that I like that aspect as much. I kind of like feeling totally pumped in one specific muscle group. So, that's one uh, difference that I've noticed. But my recovery has been great thus far. Um, my intensity has been great thus far. Since I'm only doing pretty much one exercise per muscle group, I'm able to really hit that muscle or that exercise hard with intensity, with focus, with mind-muscle connection. And I'm not just going through the motions because I've only got one movement for that muscle group. So I want to capitalize on it and make the most of it. So all that to say, I am a prior naysayer for full body splits. I'm a little skeptical about what's going to happen here, but I'm going to dive into it with, you know, full force and give it an honest effort probably throughout the end of the year uh, and then I'll kind of reassess and see how things have gone for me and if I want to continue this into 2023. So I'm going to include this super simple spreadsheet mock-up uh, in the show notes. You can uh, download this, make a copy of it, add sets and reps if you want. I haven't figured out the sets and reps because I'm kind of playing around with timing to see how long these will take me. On all my heavier compound movements like the squats, deadlifts, and stuff like that, I've been doing about eight reps per set. With the smaller muscle groups like biceps, triceps, I'm doing like 12 reps per set. Usually I do about four sets for a given exercise. Some of my more compound movements like squats, bench, deadlift, I'll do six, seven sets or something of that nature. But feel free to download this, make a copy of it, do with it as you may. Um, see if you like it, play around with it, let me know what you think. Again, I'm probably going to play around with adding more days and just pulling more movements from that exercise library as I see fit, as I want to mix things up. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Hopefully y'all are too. Give it a shot and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>